Although fertility among the Greeks was often seen as the domain of the feminine, there is a god who is known as one of many icons to be a contradiction to this fact. Today, I ask the question, who is Priapus? Priapus is the Greek god of gardens, to say the least. He is a rustic god of the countryside and is a known companion of other deities such as Silenus, Pan, and Dionysus. Being the company you keep, he is inevitably known for having a considerable sexual vice and a tendency towards lewd actions. Priapus was venerated as a guardian who watched over the crops and livestock of the people. He was said to be the son of Aphrodite, although there is speculation as to his parentage. His father possibly being anyone from Zeus to Pan to even Dionysus. Nevertheless, the minor fertility god was well known to Greek people, even those in urban centers who tended to see him as an absurd joke. Priapus is a god of not only fertility, but gardens in general. He is a god of vegetables, fruits, beekeeping, and livestock. He is often depicted with a large erection, which not only reflects the curse placed upon him, but also his role as a deity of genitals, masculinity, and pornography. Priapus was quite well known for his sexual deviancy and would oftentimes be seen seeking out the company of nymphs in an effort to satisfy his sexual urges. This, however, being somewhat ironically fruitless, based upon a curse placed on him by Hera that caused him to not only be hideously ugly and filled with sexual venom, but also it gave him a large erection that would conveniently vanish whenever he attempted to lay with a woman. In fact, Priapus was considerably famous for never being able to satisfy himself, which was at times seen as a joke considering the fact that he's a fertility god. One such time was after the war with the Titans, outside of a celebratory party thrown by Gaia herself. Shortly after the Olympians' victory over the Titans, Gaia, goddess mother of the earth, hosted a celebration for the victorious deities. Of the many gods in attendance, one named Hestia was completely uninterested in the gathering. The most modest and tranquil of the gods, she rarely found herself within the rabble of the other deities during celebration. Hestia was a devout virgin and quite serious about maintaining that as well. She eventually wandered away from the festivities on her own and fell asleep in the woods. So, who should come upon this sleeping virgin? None other but Priapus, now most certainly drunk from the festivities and celebrating. Priapus spied the sleeping Hestia and quite drunk from earlier, decided he would ravage the young virgin there while she slept where no one would know. He crept up to the sleeping goddess, focusing only on the virgin loins of his quarry, not realizing that nearby stood the steed of one of the party guests. It was a donkey that had been rode in on by the satyr Silenus. Upon seeing what the drunken Priapus was about to do, the donkey began to bray quite loudly. He -ah! He -ah! Upon hearing this, not only did the sleeping Hestia wake up, but also all the gods of the party came running to check on the commotion. When the other Olympians arrived upon the scene, they chastised and berated Priapus and said that he was never to be able to join the festivities again. Hestia held on to her prized virginity, and Priapus was sent off to try his luck with satyrs and nymphs out in the wilderness until the end of time. Within the realm of fertility, there also exists impotence, and Priapus is most certainly a symbol for just that. His statues, nonetheless, were still placed in the gardens of those who wished to have a good and a safe crop, as well even as a scarecrow for those who went an extra mile to keep their plants safe. 